shout out to all the feedback to the astronauts and we here talking about no contact and no contact on a weekend is difficult and you are not alone and even i experienced it is sometimes during the week it's actually easy to get through but the weekend especially if somebody that you are used to you're going out to eat going on dates going to a bar going to a movie etc doing activities with this probably is the most trying time and the most uh up and down with like uh an emotional roller coaster of of feelings and a lot of times the feelings of when you feel lonely is when you come home when you spent a lot of time with that person because you used to, at the end of the night you would talk about like kind of like the whole week you would talk about the weekend and you would bond with this person and create an attachment so what do you do you know like what do you do with you know no contact in the weekend and i'm gonna tell you what i think that's gonna help you and it's gonna like do well i think that you have to make a plan to take yourself out and i'm not saying don't take yourself out the whole night i see a lot of people talking about uh you know go date other women or you know you go date other men and I understand why they say that because they want to take your mind off your ex so you don't hyper focus on them. And I totally get that. But I think after you've been rejected, I think after you have been discarded and somebody has and somebody has dumped you, that I think is very important for you to learn how to go out with yourself and enjoy yourself. Learn uh, learn how to go out and to do things that you want to do. You know, like go take yourself out. And okay, meet up with friends, fine. But don't even be quick. Do not to don't be so quick to jump on these dating apps and because you always going to have this sense of I have to call somebody. I have to be with somebody to like fill this void. And if you have to call somebody and if you have to be on this dating app to be with somebody, you still have a sense of neediness. You still have a sense of desperation and you have that because somebody left you. So since somebody left you because when the person dumped you or left you, that was a pure power play and if you fall into thinking that you're not good enough if you fall into thinking that you are no longer attractive that is wrong you are and how do you become attractive you need to go home you need to get done up cut your hair do your hair pull on a great outfit go take yourself out somewhere and then maybe when you're done go meet up with a friend for a little bit and then you know what you do go home at a respectable time because you respect yourself and go put your head in the book right go 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 read something go watch a, a movie that you like you don't have to stay out all night but you need to like socialize but they try to tell you to socialize or as in you have to date but then they all it's going to do is make you dependent on a person again and that's what you're trying to get away from you're not trying to depend on anybody like to be happy and it's great to be with somebody that's interdependence, right? But you want to feel good in your own skin. You want to feel comfortable with taking yourself out. And I'm telling you, when you get in that rhythm of taking yourself out, and when you get in that rhythm, like when I step out the house to take myself out, oh, I'm going to look good. You don't want to run into me. You, you don't want to run into me because I'm going to be looking good, right? And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shut it down because I'm feeling good and you're gonna run into your person. You are going to run into your person because you have just became attractive.